All right, today I'm going to add the shafts, but first I'm going to put some saddlebags on his uh, saddle. Just, and that's all I'm going to do. I mean, on the saddle. The uh, rear rings I found out from an artist friend of mine who's one of the top uh, Western artists in the country and who's also a cowboy. He said that uh, in the old days, they a lot of times wouldn't even put the cinch on the back of the uh, saddle and they, they'd leave the rings uh, free of any uh, cinch. So I'm going to do the same. All right, I'm going to get back on the uh, saddle and then I'm going to get the uh, bat wing part of the shafts on and uh, finish those up and hopefully move on to the horse and get it done. All right, let's get busy. I'm just taking a measure with a uh, piece of clay how much, uh, or how big the uh, saddlebags will be. And I'm going to mark the halfway point. And I want to have them both come out the same distance down. Okay, I'm just putting the... Uh, thing the saddlebags will be attached to on. Alright, I've got the uh, two saddlebags on and I'm just fitting it on to see how it looks. Now I've got to make the uh, flap that goes over the saddlebag and uh, we'll do that now. I'm going to put the uh, flap on to the uh, saddlebag. So I'll put the saddlebags on. Okay, okay, I'm going to put a saddle blanket on. Put some stress wrinkles in. Okay, I'm adding tacks to the uh, edge of the uh, bat wing. I'm doing it now rather than when I get it on the cowboy because it'd be a lot easier for me to do it here. That one's a little bit big. Boy, this is hard on that joint right here. <laughs> All right, I've got the uh, tacks on the uh, chap on this uh, right leg. And we'll get that put onto the uh, sculpture. I'm, try, I'm working real fast to try to get this done so that I can have a good point to stop for the weekend.
what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paint this to match the clay. So it's no longer going to be blue. I've been dying to do this. Because I hate the color blue. I like, like my clay color. I went and got a new batch of uh, paint made up and uh, to match the color of my clay. So, anything like this, I'm just finished off with the clay, the regular clay, after I paint this. Um, as far as his hands, I'm going to cut those off and do the hands separate and then put them back on. Now, this has no effect on the... Uh, finished bronze. All this does is uh, makes the uh, monster clay look like J-Mac clay. Got to get some more light on this. All right, I'm gonna let this dry and uh, by Monday it should look perfect. It's a flat finish, it's not shiny like it is right now, it's just because it's wet. And uh, it'll all look and match the color of the clay. It already is, but it'll be, it'll be less shiny. <laughs> anyway, I didn't paint the, the uh, stirrups or the boots because I'm going to be working on those in the clay again a little bit more, um, as well as the hands. I'm going to read. I'm going to be doing those hands in monster clay, but I'm going to do them away from the figure. And uh, but I'm happy the way it's turning out and the way it looks. So, all right, guys. I'm. I finally got those chaps on his legs and uh, I like the way they turned out. I'll see you guys Monday. Have a great weekend. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.